Welcome to the Plastic Surgery Marketing Podcast, a program dedicated to helping you grow your surgical practice online. We discuss exactly what you need to get more patients using the internet to increase your rankings online and be seen as a leader in your market. We'll discuss all of this and more on this upcoming podcast. Dustin DeTorres here with our first Plastic Surgery Marketing Podcast. And in this episode, we're going to talk about how Google My Business can help drive new revenue for your plastic surgery practice. And a lot of the clients we work with, over the, especially over the years and most recently, we've seen a lot of practices not claim their listing. So you, you have something out there, you have a local listing or have a, a plethora of listings associated with your physicians, and some of them or none of them have been claimed. First thing you want to do is Google yourself, Google your business, find your local listing in the maps, on the first page and make sure that it's claimed. It'll say, claim this business if it's not claimed. And so before your competition does that, that's the first thing you do. You may have to go through uh, a phone call to verify, or you may need to wait three or four business days where a postcard comes from Google and then you can verify it that way. But that's the first thing we recommend doing, again, before your competition does that. The second thing you wanna do with your Google My Business profile is submit the name, address, phone number to all the data aggregators that are out there. There's millions and millions and millions of websites out there that are uh, directory style that we've never heard of, but they collect your name, address, phone number, and it's called a citation. So Google looks at all of those citations of your name, address, phone number, and it plays into your local SEO. It's a small piece of the puzzle, but it does affect your overall local SEO by having accurate name, address, phone number for your main listing or all of your listings across the internet. And the service that we like to use here at Detours Group is called Moz Local, M-O-Z Local. And they have an easy to use dashboard. You just submit about a hundred bucks a year. You submit your name, address, phone number, and then they aggregate that to all the major data aggregators out there across the internet, and you can rest assured that your name, address, phone number is gonna be accurate um, to a certain degree. So that's the first two things, claiming and then submitting your NAP info, name, address, phone number. The next thing you wanna do is think about how you're structuring your brand versus your, uh, your physicians, your doctors and internally. Do you have a lot of rogue listings out there? Do you have a couple listings that are doing better? They have reviews associated with them that uh, are maybe overpowering or diluting your main your main brand Google My Business listing? In the show notes, we actually elaborated on that via a post that you can click over to to learn more about uh, what we recommend doing that uh, from a strategy standpoint. There's a lot of intricacies there, but Um, If you don't have that issue with a bunch of random listings or how do you want to figure out how to, you don't really care about how to structure your Google My Business listings, let's move on to the next part. But if you do, there's a link in the show notes talking about all that. Obviously, you're in a very visual space, so images and video are very important. So um, Google My Business, I don't know the exact number, but they allow you to post probably hundreds of images and you can add video into your listing. So you wanna make sure that you obviously can't add nudity into your listing, but you can add before and after facial uh, images. Um, You can add video from testimonials that you've had. You can have somebody walk around the inside of your practice with with their iPhone and get really good video of just what what it's gonna look like for that person when they come in for their, their consultation. So think about that. Think about the stuff that you have, you're sitting around, maybe you already have it in your website. Duplicate that into Google My Business Profile. Another thing that came out uh, about a year ago or so was the ability to post. So it's kind of like writing a little miniature blog post inside your Google My Business Profile. It's also a place you can do offers. So maybe you have a quarterly offer, maybe you have an event coming up, and Google sometimes does dis- do display that as a featured piece in your Google My Business uh, profile. Obviously, you wanna get as many reviews as possible over time. 
quantity and quality are going to be very important, especially when we're looking at um, you know 40 or 50 other surgeons right on top of each other in a, in a busy metropolitan area. A determining factor for who's going to be displayed and when and where its reviews are going to be a big part of that because Google does look at the verbiage inside those reviews. Maybe somebody's talking about breast hog a lot and maybe all the reviews are talking about breast hog. Google is going to be like, okay, this doctor uh, is a specialist in breast dog. Maybe there's some other sort of service offering that you want to focus more on. You want to get reviews associated with that. So one, one easy way that we've helped our clients get more reviews is getting a link directly into your Google My Business profile. So when somebody's on their phone or on their laptop, they can click on it and it pops up your, your practice via Google My Business and it has their star reviews right there in front of their face. They have to have a, a Google account, but most people do, or you can also give them instructions on how to create one. But sending them that URL to give a, get a review, give a review is so important. You'd be surprised how many people are just really willing to do that for your practice because they've had a very positive experience. And I would say focus on Google first. There's a lot of other places to get reviews um, but if you get a really good groundswell of online reviews in Google first, I, I feel like that the ROI of that is so much more stronger than focusing on real self or focusing on another directory. Get that groundswell in Google because it's freaking Google. <laughs> and so what we do is we create like doctorreview.com, doc, Johnson Doctor Review, Johnson Plastic Surgeon Review.com. We just buy it from uh, GoDaddy.com, and then we get that URL, which I'll show you how to do it in the show notes, directly into your Google My Business profile, and hyperlink it directly to that URL. You can use it in your email signature. You can use it as a follow-up process via text. Uh, the it's, you can get really creative with how to promote that review URL. Services. So this is also a newer feature, and you can really just elaborate on your services. So you can uh, list out every single one of your services. You can talk about pricing if you like. And then you can also link over into certain sections on your website from the services section so you drive people into that area on your website. And it's a really great way to just let Google know what you do. Even if nobody really sees it or it's not featured that well on Google My Business, you're still going to have uh, that correlation with Google. They're going to know exactly what you're offering, and it, it's part of the, the local SEO uh, puzzle. <laughs> category. So you want to make sure that your main category, especially if you're a plastic surgeon, is plastic surgeon. That's pretty self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised a lot of the Google My Business accounts that we work with don't have that plastic surgeon main category as plastic surgeon. You can also list at the time of this podcast, usually a couple, two or three other, uh, I think two other main categories. And so you want to choose maybe one or two that make the most sense, like doctor. Um, <clears throat> Video, we've kind of talked about that. So answering questions is also uh, very important. Believe it or not, it's kind of like a crowdsource situation on Google My Business where random people can ask questions about your practice. And you, you'd be surprised. Sometimes a lot of other people that have had experiences with you or random people are answering the questions of those original people. So you kind of want to take a stand here and make sure that you're dominating that piece of the local search puzzle, you're on top of all your questions, you're showing people that, hey, we are managing our practice and we're able to be proactive with those questions, right? Um, make sure that whatever Google uh, or Gmail account or email you have associated with your profile is something that you check quite often or somebody uh, internally, your staff is able to check and answer those questions in a very timely fashion. When I say timely, I mean usually within the first 24, 12 to 24 hours. Another thing that we see a lot of success from is integrating Google My Business with a, a myriad of third-party scheduling apps. So whatever app you're using, if it's a major one, there's probably a good chance that you have the way to integrate that directly into your Google My Business profile. If you don't, and you just have a URL, like forward slash consultations, you can actually just list that URL as well, 
inside your GMB or Google My Business profile, and then bam, now you have your main website listed, and then you have a direct link into your scheduling page or your scheduling system. So that's a list of the top five or six things that we highly recommend you set the groundwork for successful practice through, via Google My Business, and you'd be surprised after kind of making this part of your process, getting the reviews, adding images, kind of treating Google My Business like almost like another website in a way, you're gonna start seeing more activity, you're gonna start seeing more phone calls over time, you're gonna start seeing more traffic come from your Google My Business listing, you're gonna see more people uh, asking for driving directions from your Google My Business listing. Um, it's a great way to supplement kind of all that attention you've been giving your website for so many years. You know why? Because it's Google. They they own everything. <laughs> um, so hopefully that you learned some things today. If you have any questions about what we talked about or comments, feel free to comment wherever this is posted below. And if you have any questions, feel free to stop by tutorialsgroup.com as well. We have a chat, 24-7 chat tool. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us on the Plastic Surgery Marketing Podcast. Implementing just one of the things you heard today will help your practice move one step closer to dominating your local market. Are you looking for resources? Check us out online at detoresgroup.com. 